What's the big deal about baptism? From the days of the apostles, water baptism has been a very important component of Christianity. Once the gospel was received, new believers were expected to be baptized immediately. There was no waiting, there was no catechism, there was no class, there was just immediate obedience. They went down into the water and they were baptized. Sometimes at great personal cost. They knew that if they were baptized, they might lose their job. They might lose their family. In fact, in some cases, they held a funeral service for them. And at the very worst, they could lose their lives. There have been many cases of believers who were drowned because they were baptized. So why? Why is baptism so important? Why did people, immediately after being saved, choose to be baptized at great personal cost to themselves? Well, because they were radical. They, they believed something that was deep down in the heart. They believed that there was a heaven to gain. They believed that Jesus was the Savior of the world and He was the only way to get to heaven. Once you believe in Jesus, Nothing else matters. See, that's the importance of baptism. It's just not another ritual. It's just not another nice little rite that we do because somebody turns 12 or because we want to be involved in the social aspect of the church or something like that. No, no. This is a radical gesture that shouts to people. I have been radically changed. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The bridges have been burned, the stake has been driven into the ground, the line has been drawn in the sand, and there is no going back. Now contrast that with the lax attitudes of people today. I've heard people claiming to be Christians who tell me that they have no interest in being baptized, no compulsion to do so. And my question for them is, if anyone does not have the kind of the simplest kind of faith to be able to follow the Lord in obedience, does he have enough faith to be saved? Well, now listen, I realize baptism is not necessary for salvation, but we need to start asking ourselves the hard questions, and we need to start making the deep commitments to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus put it this way, whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man shall be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father. Mark 8.38 And if that wasn't enough, he chided, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Matthew 7.21 If you can't obey the simplest in the first commandment, to a newborn Christian, how will you ever do the hard stuff? Repent and be baptized. That's one of the things that makes Christianity mighty. That's one of the rock-solid truths of Christianity.